Hello, this is Wyland from Drone Rental Supply and today's uh, video will be about installing propellers. So when you buy a propeller set, it's going to come in pairs. It's either going to be a green pair with two uh, sets of spacers or it can be an orange pair with two sets of spacers. Uh, if you've seen our other videos, you'll know that when we uh, sell our quadcopters, we like having the green pairs up on the front of the quadcopter so this is the front of the quadcopter and we'd like to have the orange pair in the back of the quadcopter so generally speaking it'll be these propellers over here and these propellers over here and then we'll talk about these spacers uh, when we put them on the quadcopter so what you have to remember is that on the black nuts you're going to put on the 6045R. So the R would stand for that it's going to be spinning in this direction which is clockwise. So this propeller over here on this side would also be spinning clockwise. The silver propellers will be spinning counterclockwise. So they'll be spinning in this direction. So let's go ahead and uh, We'll focus in on this motor right here and we'll show you how to put on a propeller. So on the so on this propeller which is spinning clockwise, in order to take off the nut, you would have to spin it counterclockwise or clockwise, sorry. You're gonna spin the nut off in a clockwise position. So what you'll notice is that if you were to put on this propeller without the proper spacer is that it's going to be very loose. That's because this hub is meant for a larger motor. They actually designed it specifically that way so that it will fit a wide variety of motors. So in order to have uh, this propeller fit this motor, they have a set of spacers that come uh, with the propellers. And it's very easy to figure out which one it is. All you have to do is you just try to fit every one of these on and the one that fits the best is the one you're going to use so this one fits very snugly so therefore this is the proper one so you just go ahead take, a, take it off and some of these are very hard to put on you're really going to have to push down hard on them sometimes you actually need the propeller th itself to help push it down for you and when you uh, use the propeller you don't want to put uh, any force on the propeller itself you just want to take the sides and then push down on them. So this now is nicely snugged in. So this is all the way down in, in the position. And now once you put on the propeller, you'll notice that it's a very snug fit. So now you can go ahead and put this on. So spin it on counterclockwise. And then you can take the 10 millimeter hex wrench and you just want to lightly with a few fingers snug it up. You don't need to really crank on this. Once you do this, this motor is ready to go. So let's go ahead and move to the other side and we'll show you uh, the silver one. So the silver one, you're gonna loosen it by spinning it counterclockwise. And again, you'll notice that the leading edge right here uh, of the propeller, the one that's actually lifted up, that's the edge that's going to be uh, at the forward most position when you spin it. So that's how you can tell that this is a counterclockwise uh, blade. So again, we're gonna take our spacer kit and we're going to match it up with which one fits the best. After you've done this for a few times, you'll, you'll know which one it is pretty much on site. So this one fits pretty easily down, so you just snug it on down. You'll notice that once it's in the downmost position, the propeller will fit nicely in the center. And then we'll spin this nut on clockwise. And then you just want to snug it down just with a few fingers. Make sure it's nice and snug. And there are the two motors. So let's go ahead and spin this. And uh, well, let's just keep it in the same direction so that's easier to remember. So the front, these are the same propellers as the orange ones, it's just that it's a different color. Again, since this is the black one, we're going to go ahead, spin it off clockwise. 
going to have a spacer again. Snug it on down. And what you'll notice is that if you look at the front and the back one, these are actually spinning in, a, in opposite directions. Go ahead. Tighten that down. There we go. Moving on to the last one. My last set. Keep these things organized. There we go. Nicely centered. Just hold on to the motor and then just and then there we go that's the installation of uh, four propellers and what you'll notice is that once you have the spacer in there if you were to break a propeller or you just want to re uh, replace it because it's worn out is that the spacers most likely don't need to be replaced it's really hard to damage a spacer once you install it because there's really nothing to damage so it's very nicely protected between the motor and the propeller hub itself so generally speaking once you have the spacers in there, when you buy replacement propellers, you won't even need to uh, take the spacers out. But you should save them just in case you actually do damage a spacer. You can always have some spares. So that's a demonstration of how you can uh, install your own propellers.